Hi guys, this time it will be another video on my tools and the reason for this particular one is that a couple of weeks ago my regular meter decided to die on me, to die on me. And uh, since I had some very good experience with uh, oscilloscope from uh, FNIPSI that I got earlier, also small uh, tweezers LCR meter, I decided to browse the AliExpress offer for, from uh, FNIPSI. I don't know how to actually say the name, it's FNIRSI. And uh, I've seen something that got my attention, because uh, for most part it is a meter, but it does a couple of other things too. So, starting with uh, the external build, uh, we have a nice color LCD screen, we, has, we, have, we have a set of control buttons instead of, uh, um, I, I don't know how to say that, uh, well, the most, uh, most of the cheap uh, meters would have a rotary selector here, but this one uh, is not exactly cheap, uh, although it's not expensive too, uh, I got that one you know, for $40. And that was the base price uh, because I couldn't wait for any type of coupons because I just needed to get a meter. Uh, but you will be able to get that one cheaper uh, if you'll wait for a sale or some kind of AliExpress coupons or store coupons. So, screen, controls, four connectors for voltage resistance, capacity, continuity and temperature, common connector and two connectors for uh, current measurement, one for the uh, up to 10 amperes uh, current measurement and the first one would be up to one ampere. Uh, there is a fuse internal uh, and uh, it's advised to more or less be aware of the uh, current that you'll be trying to measure. Um, on the back of the device we have a stand, it's actually quite nice, like that, and we have holes for um, measuring, measuring uh, probes. And one more very important thing, two important things, uh, the first one, this one is a USB-C port uh, used to charge internal battery. Uh, this time I decided to get a meter with um, a rechargeable battery, so I won't be buying 9 volt batteries every couple of weeks. And this bulge here, it's actual measuring point for electromagnetic and magnetic fields. So uh, we'll get to that, but this meter is able to uh, detect um, any kind of EMI. Uh, which also means it's able to detect uh, live uh, wiring uh, in walls. So, what's in the box? The box is quite nice. Uh, other FNUC equipment uh, included some kind of uh, pouches, pouches for, um, for the devices, but this one doesn't, so I've kept the box. We have manual. Manual uh, is prepared in a couple of languages. Uh, in Chinese, in English, in Russian, I suppose, and that would be Spanish, probably. Uh, yes, uh, original uh, the meter comes with the screen protector, but I've removed it. Uh, foam, and the most important thing, two probes, USB-C charging cable, and a couple of plastic um, protectors. When you receive the meter, you need to remember that you have to remove the plug from the connector and you need to remove the plug from the measuring end, measuring tip. So, that's uh, about the box. The, the manual is pretty important because uh, there are descriptions for all the functions of the meter and some of them are not so obvious. Uh, there, I, th I think there were some errors in uh, English, um, like in my English, but 
Uh, all in all, the instruction is quite easy to understand and it actually helps you to use the device. So, why did I get this particular one? Uh, reason number one uh, is EMI detection, which works pretty fine. I mean, I'm able to detect uh, stray EMI fields coming from power cables that I'm uh, doing uh, reviews on, uh, meaning that if the power cable is shielded properly, the device will be quiet, will not find, uh, it will not find any stray EMI, but if there are problems with uh, power cable shielding, uh, I'll be able to detect the current inside. And it works both, way, both ways, meaning that if the shielding is bad and I'm able to detect current with the meter, it means that EMI will be able to enter the cable. If I'm not able to detect any kind of live uh, current in the cable, it means that the shielding is good enough to protect the uh, live wires inside the cable from stray EMI and LFI. Okay, <clears throat> so what do we have here? Uh, we have, uh, uh, let's turn it off, the base operation mode for the meter is auto mode. As you can see, it turns on after we turn on the device. But I'm not using this uh, mode very often because it works only for voltage, um, resistance and continuity. So I'm basically choosing manually what I want to measure. Um, another neat thing is that uh, the meter adjusts the range automatically. Uh, so it simplifies things a little bit. Uh, yep. So DC voltage was earlier, AC voltage we have right now, we have resistance metering, uh, and we have uh, capacitance meeting. Capacity measured by this meter is in this range. I'll show you this from the box. And that was another reason that I've kept the box. Uh, here it is. The full range of the capacitance. Okay, now the next one would be continuity, but this is also measuring um, bias uh, for diodes. diodes. If you're measuring diode with this, uh, and you'll be measuring uh, diode with, uh, for the, um, how should I call it, in a forward direction, it will show you the bias for the diode. And we're back to voltage. Uh, then we have current metering, both ranges, and we have a couple of interesting things here. Uh, the first one is temperature. As you can see, it's already working. It's saying that I have 25 degrees centigrade here. The second one, and uh, this one relates uh, to the most of the stuff that I'm reviewing, uh, is frequency metering. Uh, you can use that meter to check the actual frequency of your power grid uh, in your power sockets, uh, which is pretty neat. That's the first frequency meter that I have um, here home, not counting the uh, oscilloscope. The next one is EMI metering. Uh, in this setting, we have a uh, small maybe let's call it animation uh, the meter when it will be close to the power line uh, it'll start to give you sounds uh, and the frequency of the sounds uh, will be getting higher uh, with uh, growing umi field and this range lines will be getting closer to this drawing of a wire so you'll be able to detect uh, uh, a live cable. I think I might I might try to show you this one, so give me a second. Okay, so this is one of my walls here upstairs, and we have sound absorbing panels on the back of the room, and we have power switch uh, for the light here. So the actual power line goes down like that. So I won't be able to find anything here, but oh. Yes, we have one in this direction. We have a wire that goes up to the ceiling, and yep, 
Yeah. So let's get back to the table. So as you as, as you've seen, it works quite nice, but that's not all that the meter have here. Um, when we will press and hold the middle button, we'll be able to enter the menu. And usually the menu doesn't have uh, anything interesting except changing uh, the language of the interface and stuff like that. But in case of this device, the first position in menu is actually very interesting because it allows you to choose the uh, mode, uh, operation mode for the meter. The first operation mode is regular metering and that was what we've seen. But the very interesting ones are the second and the third one. Let's select that one. Let's get back here. And in this mode, we have something like small kind of oscilloscope. Uh, we are able to change the voltage, the resistance, the capacitor, basically all of the regularly measured parameters. But in this case right now, we are having a plot, we are seeing a plot uh, of changes uh, for the selected measurement uh, option. So for example, for voltage, we would be able to see changes in voltage as a plot. Uh, so I'd say it's uh, it's it, it can't be called oscilloscope, but in uh, in a way, it does a couple of things that oscilloscopes do for you. So that was the recording mode, and there's also monitoring mode, and this one is also very interesting. Because in this mode, you can define in configuration a range of expected, for example, voltage here, values. So, uh, you can define that you expect your voltage to be between 0 and 5 volts. Uh, you can connect the meter to your measuring points. And the meter will alert you when the voltage will drop to the below the minimum threshold or go above the maximum threshold. And it'll actually show you uh, the range it was measuring uh, with real data. Uh, so this is something that may help you with uh, working with amplifiers or preamplifiers when you're trying to measure the voltage. For example, voltage in some specific uh, measuring points, but you do not just have four hands and you'd like to be aware when the parameters drop below the threshold or go above the threshold while you're doing something else. You want your meter to alert you that there was a change that the measuring uh, value went off the um, range, uh, went out of the range that you expected it to have. So that's also something very interesting, uh, which I haven't seen on most of the meters. So. That was the reason I got this one. It's very simple to operate. Uh, you don't have to uh, manually choose the range uh, for the values. It does have useful capacitance metering. It's able to draw plots for measured values. And it's also able to give you range metering. So all in all, that's actually pretty cool and uh, it's way above uh, of the functionality of the meter that died on me. So, uh, why I'm doing this uh, particular uh, video? Uh, two reasons. First one is uh, some of you asked me to do a videos on the equipment I'm using when I'm doing different things with uh, stuff, with audio gear that I'm reviewing. And um, the, the, the second reason is that uh, in this case, I would say this is the most heavily used uh, measuring device uh, that I'm using. I have a couple of them, uh, you've seen some of them, but this is the first and the foremost uh, measuring device that you should have, that actually everyone should have uh, somewhere on in the drawer in your home. Because it will be not only used 
uh, for measuring um, things that I do with uh, audio gear. Uh, but uh, in my opinion, uh, something like that, uh, that kind of meter, is a device that will always be useful in every house for checking for voltages, for currents, for looking for live wires in walls. So it's like a Philips screwdriver. You always have to have at least one in your home. And that's it, guys. I really like the meter and uh, best compliment I can give to this uh, unit is that I'm basically using it on a daily basis for all the measurements uh, I take uh, for my reviews. $40, highly recommended. I hope you liked that video and stay tuned for more videos on audio equipment and I think there'll be a two or three more videos on the equipment I use. Uh, yeah, thank you guys, bye.